Hello, welcome to the tutorial on how to install Nopcommerce as a software engineer on your PC. I am Benjamin Fadina. Now the first thing you should do is to connect to SQL Server using Management Studio. So I'm going to connect using SQL Server Authentication. I'm going to connect using SQL Server Authentication. I'm going to right click on databases folder in Object Explorer and I'm going to select new database from the context menu. So I'm going to create a database called NOP NOP Tutorial DB. Then I'm going to make the owner to be SA. Then I'll click OK. Now, after creating the blank database, I'm going to the browser, I'm going to type nopcommerce.com So, if you are not registered, you click registered, registered, if you are if you already registered you can just click login so in my own case I'm already registered so I'm going to type in my username which is Benjamin SQL server and then I type my password remember me is optional then I click login So now that I've logged in, I'm going to click on Get Started. Then under Install Knob Commerce yourself, I'll click on Download Knob Commerce. Then I'm going to download the package resource code. So I'll click on the Download button for that. So I'm going to I'm going to cancel the download because I've already downloaded it before. So after the download is finished, you are going to extract the download files. So right click on the downloaded file which is a zip file right click on it um, you can use WinRAR to extract the the downloaded files so I'm going to click on select extract files so now I'm going to be extracting it to a folder called Not Commerce Tutorial. Then I'll click OK. We'll 
while the extraction is being done, let's look at uh, the documentation under supports and services. So this is the documentation for install manually, which I'm clicking on right now. So um, I want to ins install local for developers only, so I've clicked on that. Installing local. So ensure your PC meets the minimum requirements. So you have the option of installing web new source, which is not what I'm doing right now. I'm using the second option. That's with source code, which contains a full Visual Studio solution. So running the site using Visual Studio. So it says I should launch Visual Studio and select file open project solution. I'll get to the folder where you extracted the archive and open the not commands the solution file. Extraction is still going on. Let's still check out the tutorial, uh, the documentation. So installation process. No commas require switching permissions for the directories and files described below. Now, ensure you have a database server installed on your system. You can use any of the following authentication methods to connect to the server, SQL server account, also known as SQL server authentication. You can also use integrated Windows authentication, also known as trusted connection. So once you open the site for the first time, you'll be redirected to the installation page where you need to enter admin user email, admin user password, confirm the password, you choose a country and you, ch you could choose to create sample data. So extraction is complete. Now that this extraction is complete, I'm going to open the folder, not commerce tutorial. I'm going to open the SRC folder or source folder. Then I'm going to right click on the Visual Studio solution file. I'm going to say open with Microsoft Visual Studio 2022. As you can see, it's opening with Visual Studio 2022. Let us go to Solution Explorer by clicking on View. Solution Explorer. Let's expand presentation folder. You can see that nop.web has been set as the startup project. The next thing you are going to do is to click on the play button to start the 
nob.web project. So you are going to click on Play IIS Express button. So I've clicked on the play button to start the web project. So now this installation page is now displayed. Admin user name. I'm going to enter Benjamin SQL Server at gmail.com. Admin user password. I'm going to enter. I'm going to confirm the password for admin user. Country. I still want. Let me select. I'm still going to select uh, United States of America. Database. Yeah. So database could be MySQL, PostgreSQL, but we are going to choose SQL Server. Now, server name. Go back to SQL Server, right click on top of the server, add in Object Explorer and select properties. So now this is the server name. I'm going to right click on it. I'll click copy. I'll go back here. I'll put the server name. As for the database, let me click cancel here. As for the database name, let's expand our databases. There is a database, the database that I created earlier on. The name is not tutorial DB. So I'll come here. I'll enter the database name as not tutorial. GB. Not tutorial GB. Now, SQL username will be SA. Password is whatever it is. I've entered it. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'll click on install. So now you can see it's telling me that it's installing no commas. So you can see the message restarting. Let's click the play button again. Okay. 
so my store is displayed um, let me log in click log in I'm going to log in as Benjamin sqlserver.gmail.com I'm going to put my password and username sorry my password and email so I click login so it's taking me to administration so this is where I'm going to stop the, this tutorial on installation. Watch out for my next tutorial on e-commerce. Thank you. Uh, watch out for my next tutorial on not commerce. Thank you for watching. So let me log out first.